Hello and welcome to the course. My name is Pablo Farias Navarro and I'll be your instructor. In this course you'll learn to create your own Space Invaders game in virtual reality. And this game runs in all the headsets. It is uh, cross-platform, built entirely with Unity. So as you can see we have to defend our city from these aliens and as we shoot them down the, the junk accumulates on the floor. And the, the wall here shows us how many enemies we have left to kill. If the enemies reach the floor, which or they reach me, which is what just happened, it is game over and we can start playing again. Everything that you see here can be customized and modified and adapted. And we build everything from scratch except for the three models which we import. So it is a really fun game to play and it can also be a good starting point point for any kind of project that you might have in mind. Our learning goals. You'll be creating this full game from scratch. We'll put together all of these different elements and we'll see how we can shoot in VR, how we can position the gun or it could be any other tool. We'll create a few objects that will help us manage a lot of the flow of the game when it comes to that initial screen or game over, uh, winning screen or the logic with the enemy. So we'll create objects for that. And um, at the end of the course, we'll also look at a optimization technique called object pooling, which is very important in Unity and in programming in general. And you'll be using it a lot when you make games for virtual reality. Now, this technology is new. And the fact that you are in this course or that, or that you are interested in this course tells me that you are someone that's interested in innovation in problem solving. So this is the right course for you. The uh, things that, and techniques and tools that you're learning in this course are applicable way beyond just games. So you can use this on all sorts of applications and this is really changing everything from consumer applications to enterprise applications. So take this course as a big invitation for you to explore and build cool stuff and solve problems with these technologies. Now, when it comes to our courses, I've been teaching online since 2012 to over 200,000 students. And something that I quite like about online courses is that you can watch the lessons as many times as you need. You can always go back to a previous lessons and to previous lessons and watch them again. And you can learn um, by following who, uh, whichever learning style really suits you. So you can watch all the lessons in a row if that's what you want to do, or you can watch them once a week. Uh, so that is really all up to you. And we've learned from a lot of students that the students that really thrive in these courses that get the most out of this material are those who follow along and also who work on their own projects in parallel and uh, people that uh, plan and commit to a certain weekly schedule to watch the lessons have also much higher chances of completing the material and getting the most out of this really, really cool content. So enough talking and now let's start building. So let's get started and I will see you on the, ne the next video where we will create the game design document for this Space Invaders game.